So heart pine is the hard, resinous inner pine of old growth longleaf pine trees. You know, the local folks called it heart pine, and I take it to be like the heart of our homeland, the heart of us. There's an old song called Kalaja. It's about a, a wooden Indian standing by a door. His heart was made of knotty pine. And kind of, I'm kind of like that wooden Indian, you know? Got a big old pine knot in there burning <laughs> for a heart. <laughs> I think the best way to describe it and what most people don't understand is that once there was a forest in the southeast that was unlike anything that we see today. When you travel throughout the southeast, you simply don't see the uh, primeval forest that, that once was. There was a forest that was estimated to be between 85 and 90 million acres of longleaf pine stretched from southeastern Virginia, about the Franklin, Virginia area near the Dismal Swamp down through the Carolinas, uh, east of the mountains. It climbed up into the Piedmont a little bit, uh, down into central Florida, and then out to east Texas. These trees went for miles and miles and miles. The pines themselves weren't planted in rows like you see now, dark underneath, shaded. They're trees of all sizes, all ages, randomly germinated with the large spaces in between them. Settlers uh, wrote about traveling through these huge pine forests, these vast pine forests, for days on end. And, oh gosh, somewhere in my genes I have seen those. You know, somewhere I've, I, I carry with me a memory of something that I've never really seen. North Carolina was one of the later colonies, really only uh, becoming a British colony in the um, 18th century. And when they were looking at North Carolina, looking at the land of North Carolina, some of the settlers up in Virginia and some of the colonists down in South Carolina, they noticed these incredible longleaf pine forests. And England, whose economic and military uh, power rested on their navy was much in need of these longleaf pine forests because of what they produced, what the longleaf pine produced. Naval stores is a collective term uh, for the production of tar, pitch, turpentine, and rosin and the derivatives that came from that. The four basic products can be divided in half and the two halves are produced with a totally different process. Tar and pitch made by the uh, building of the tarcoal, the heating of the dead longleaf pine wood uh, to produce the tar, the pitch coming from the boiling of that to make it thicker. The way that you made the turpentine though, you would go into the longleaf pine forest, you would strip off the bark of the pine tree in the cooler months, say February, March or so, you would streak the meat of the tree, if you would. Then you would come back during the warmer months as things started warming up in April and May. They would come back and they would look at that tree that they had cat face. It was called cat face because if you look at it, it almost looks like it has some whiskers coming from it. And that cat face would literally bleed the raw resin into a container. In the old, old days, they called them boxes, and they would cut these notches in the bottom below the cat face where the resin would drain into. And then the guys would come by at least once a week during the real hot months when it was really, really producing the resin, and they would dip it out. They would put it in a barrel. They put this raw resin in a barrel, and they would take it to a distillery, which would often be some distance away, where it would be distilled into spirits of turpentine. The byproduct of this was rosin, and rosin can be a liquid fluid form, or if the um, temperature is cool enough, can be very, very hard. The 
tar it would be used for rope preservatives. Pitch would be used for caulking uh, on ships. Turpentine would be used uh, in painting ships. Uh, rosin uh, oil was used, and rosin itself, uh, if it was in a hardened form, could also be used for caulking, but also rosin also makes uh, great traction. So they would use rosin, throw it on the deck of a, a, a wet ship, uh, and it would actually give a little bit more traction to the deck of the ship.